Hello and welcome to a, another tutorial by me, Hamster Hill. This one's going to be on how to um, texture and UV map your um, model here. So um, we're going to get straight into it now and we're going to start by going into our model here. And um, what we want to do is we want to um, UV unwrap it. So first what we'll do is we'll split the area here. Split area. Just click in the middle. And you want to change this to a UV slash image editor. Um, then what you want to do is just um, start marking out your scenes. Um, the best mode to have it in is um, turn off your widget thing here. Um, make sure you're in line select mode and um, you have this turned on so you can't see um, back faces and back lines and stuff which really helps out. Uh, so, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to mark a scene down here all the way down our leg um, to the bottom of it and then you press control E mark scene um, then we're going to do the same thing for these arms here we're going to actually cut the arms away from the body like so and um, like that and we're going to cut down the middle of the arm as well now the reason why we're doing this is because um, basically when you're UV mapping you're trying to get all the faces of our 3D model here um, onto a 2D image and um, even if you were to do something like um, uh, so if you took a picture from each side and tried to uh, apply a texture like that it wouldn't work because if you say took a picture from this side um, you would have part of this leg covering that whole bit of body and stuff and um, so that's why you UV unwrap it so that it um, it cuts off all the um, uh, just cuts it to pieces where you want it to cut off so this arm will be taken off and we'll have that as another piece and we can also have the head as a different piece and um, how we have the seam in the leg, what that'll do is it'll mean that we can um, sort of spread that out, sort of like split it off and then um, and then sort of unwrap it. It's kind of a bit hard to explain um, but you'll see what happens and um, I'm sure you're all the smart people can figure out. Um, and we're going to put a seam in the head because um, uh, because if you don't, then it ends up, this bit here ends up being really squashed. Um, so you got to make sure you put a, a seam in the head and that there's the seam runs all the way to the bottom of the foot. Um, you may also like to uh, split the foot here, although it doesn't really matter because you're not going to see the foot. Um, but if you want to, you can, and I think I shall. So control E, mark seam. Cool, so... Um, now that we've got all our seams marked out, what we can do is then unwrap it by pressing U, uh, selecting all the faces of course, and then pressing U, um, unwrap. There. Um, so these things here came out okay, our head and our body here came out pretty perfectly, but you'll notice in the middle of our um, hand here is the thumb which came out a little, uh, a little askew. So, I'm going to show you how to use pinning, and um, so first what we're going to do is we're just going to move this further away from the other piece, just so we don't irritate that or whatever, and um, then we're going to uh, box select, I'll uh, make sure you're in vertices mode, box select all these vertices around here, um, basically every vertice you don't want to move anymore, so because um, this bit here still needs configuration, um, we want that to move, whereas these ones here we don't want to move, so we're going to pin them down. Um, so you press P to pin, and um, then we want to, say for example, move this bit down here so we have enough space for our thumb to be out this way. So you're going to put it about there and press P to pin, and then um, say just move this bit here for our um, thumb over this way and press P to pin, and then press U in our 3D view here and um, unwrap it again and it'll show you a, a fixed version of it of what the new pinning and stuff has done to it 
Uh, still not enough moving around, obviously, so if we move this point down here and press B to pin it, um, grab this point and move it this way a bit further, I reckon. Uh, grab this point, oops, control Z. Um, grab it over here, maybe P to pin it, and um, grab this point, maybe pin this one. Okay, so then we go over the side again, and we get unwrap it again, and it's pretty good. I can live with just moving that in there like that. Um, so yeah, so now we've got everything all sorted out here, um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to put a texture on it, and um, I'm going to load a texture. So if I go image open, um, I found this one on the internet somewhere. Uh, Text here. That's sort of like a, a burlap sack kind of thing. But um, if we go into texture mode here, you'll notice that it's quite big for for what it should be. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to simply um, grab all our UVs here and just scale them up. And what that does is it makes the um, texture repeat over all those faces. So if we uh, go control Z actually and um, select it all and scale it up by say f um, 2 or by 4 or something then you'll um, get it so that things will line up better as well um, yeah so that's pretty good um, no shading on it just to yeah, remind you of that um, okay so now that we've got that done what we can do now is we can um go in here and we can start making our um material um because we're going to be doing the texturing as well um so what we can do is um we can um just create a normal texture like you normally would and then we're going to bake it onto our um our model so that it works in the game engine um, so yeah, so this is our um, thing so far, so we'll give him a brown body, say. Actually, we can probably sample it from here, from there. That works. Okay, and um, then what we want to do is add the texture, so add new texture, image, um, you want to choose text, and uh, then go back in here and we'll set up all the properties you want to change it to UV and um, so yeah so now that's all set up then what we want to do is we want to um, add another image so go image new um, yeah just accept the defaults I suppose um, actually no I want to make this say a color we can distinguish um, so maybe we'll make it a, a gray color because then that way you don't want to make it a light color because um, it'll affect just a whole heap of things so um, it's best to have it a fairly darkish gray color that'd be good um, and we want the alpha all the way down to zero and what we're going to do is we're going to draw things over top of this um, so uh, that's all good and we'll name this uh, detail okay. um, so now we have that, um, it's changed because our UV map is now on this and what we're going to do is we're going to just scale our um, UV map down again so that it fits onto this thing here. And 